Hello and welcome to the 33rd video in this series, Programming a Chess Engine in JavaScript. So in this video we're going to add the add piece function and the move piece functions to makemove.js. I'm just going to scroll the clear piece function out of the way and what I'm not going to explain much in this video is anything to do with how the piece list indexing has worked because I've covered that many times now uh, I think in, in videos and particularly again in detail in the last video so hopefully it's clear. So the first one we'll do is the simplest of the two and we're going to write out the add piece function if I can type it correctly and when we've got our add piece function going obviously we need a couple of arguments in there one of them is the square where we're going to adding and the type of piece that we actually want to add the one thing we do need is because we'll be changing the material value we need again to access the color of the piece so we'll just get our array again that's defined in devs.h of piece col and get the color and before doing anything else let's hash this piece in or update the position key on its square because it's being added to the board and now really just some simple stuff because it's not very complicated when you're adding a piece because you don't have anything fancy to do really with the piece list so gameboard.pieces at square will now be set equal to piece and gameboard material and then that will be indexed by the color will be incremented by the value of this piece and then the last thing we need to do then is increment the piece number and insert this piece into the piece list and we'll do the insertion first because then we can use as our new index the current piece number because remember it's zero indexed I said I wouldn't say too much about the indexing because hopefully it's clear so we'll take our piece index and then we have our piece and we want the number now that we're going to insert at which will be gameboard dot piece num for our piece type and that now gets set equal to our square and I think I've missed off a closed bracket there, there, yes. And the last thing we need to do then is increase our, or increment our game board piece num by one. So that's the add piece function set up okay. The next function then is the move piece function. So the tricky bit in this again is, well it's not really tricky, it's updating the correct piece inside the piece list and we don't have any material scores to worry about though in this function because we're moving a piece from and to a square so I'll just make the curly brackets if I can actually hit the right keys here I have endless problems if you're ever wondering these videos where I have so many problems with the curly brackets and things like that it's because I'm often switching between Windows computer and Apple computer and of course the keys are completely different and on the Apple computer I can't actually see the curly brackets or the square brackets they're not on the keyboard I have to remember which keys they are and when switching between Windows and the Mac OS I often forget so moving a piece from square from to square to is the arguments and the index for our loop later and we need also to get our piece that we're moving so we'll have gameboard.pieces at our from so the first thing to do then is hash our piece out of its from square so the position key is updated and now we can set the game board dot pieces at our from square two pieces empty and now we need to hash the piece back in on its two square so the square it's actually moving to and we can now update game board pieces at 2 being now equal to our piece and what should be springing into mind when we come to actually writing the make move function you have to be careful with captures and things like that so for example if we say we've got a knight capturing a queen on e4 so the knight's going from uh, let's say c c3 to e4 and you move the knight to e4 
but then captured the queen on e4 you would actually then remove the knight effectively you would have to do the removing of the queen before moving the knight so these are the tricky things we have to be careful with when we come to writing the make move function so now to update the piece list we need to find where our piece actually is inside our piece list so we'll loop through all of the pieces that we have on the board at the moment for our piece with a loop we've seen many times now which is this piece index loop and when we find the piece that's at the square for the from then we can update this to the to so we can say that if and game board dot p list and piece index and piece and index so if our piece on the p list is at square from then we can update this to the square 2 I'll just copy this here now set it equal to 2 and then we can break out of the loop because we found our piece and again if you're doing things and putting asserts in etc you would definitely put some kind of um, well in C anyway I would put a, a preprocessor statement here saying if in debug mode then make a marker here set to minus one and set it to zero if we find something in here and check that it's not minus one at the end of the loop because you should always find the piece on the piece list if not there's something wrong but like I said next video we're going to be adding in a checkboard function that'll make sure the piece lists and the pieces all marry up and everything okay so that's all we need to do then for the move piece function so we've got our add piece move piece and clear piece now added in make move date.js and when Next video will be this checkboard function, and then the following video will start actually writing make moves. So thanks very much for watching, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.